and welcome to the Business Spotlight. I'm Patrick Dewar, and today's show is going to be, uh, well, I think you'll really find it an exception. Recently, I was listening to the radio, and that song, Cast in the Cradle, came on, and I thought, man, have I done a good enough job raising my son? Does he look at me and think, I want to be like him? And is that going to be the right kind of character? Well, today's guest is Wendy Kaufman. Wendy is the CEO and founder of Balancing Life Issues. And she has literally created a group of over a thousand trainers around the U.S. that talk to corporations that speak for keynotes, trainings on the whole issues of balancing life's issues. Wendy, thanks so much for being on the show. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited about this show because I want to get into your story. When I think about the the foundation of this, I've heard a little bit, and I thought, man, you you really invested. You paid a great price. Tell me about the start of this. So yeah, you know, it certainly has been the trials and tribulations of of my life. Um, I often joke about that in, in all of our sessions, and with certainly with my trainers. Um, I do have a degree in industrial psychology from the University of Pennsylvania. Actually, wrote my thesis on dual career relationships, and so even then, I knew how hard it was going to be to make a relationship work. That was certainly thirty years ago, um, and so you know, then took a little bit of a break, and I was a uh, stay-at-home mom that did some part-time work and got divorced. And at that moment in time, I remember thinking, you have to go to work, you've got to raise the kids, and really, truly, does your boss care? Does your employer care? And how hard that was. And that's when Balancing Life's Issues was founded. And I am thrilled at not just that the success of all my trainers, but the success that the companies know that they do care about their employees. They really care about their health and their happiness, and that's what we do. Well, and you work with every size corporation, mm-hmm. but the thing that was really interesting is the number of Fortune 500 companies that have brought you in to help their people balance their lives, and, and even, as I understand it, you guys do everything from executive leadership training mm-hmm team building all the way to what else? Anything you can think of. So uh, elder care. When my dad was sick, I learned firsthand what it's like to be in that family generation, having kids in college and caring for someone who's very ill. And what was that like? And how do you go to work with that? So anything from a traditional leadership class, which you might think of, but also really thinking about um, how do I talk to my kids about sex, drugs, and alcohol? How do I deal with an aging parent? How do I take the car keys away from my mom? You know, these are things that people are worried about, and they need help. And you, you, and like I say, a lot of this came out of just your life, and then you <laughs> began to, to, to talk about it. People began to yeah. hire you to do more of that. But how did it spread beyond, in a sense, most corporations, you know, companies that are, yeah. you know, CEO and founder, now to have over a thousand people that work with you, how did that happen? You know, I, I really have to say organically. Um, I think that there were many things that were right, and there were many things that were um, in in place. Um, and certainly, we are a country we care. Um, we have a lot of compassion, and we have a lot of good feelings. And so, people will say to me, "You know, I'm worried about this. This is my passion. This is what I'm thinking." And so, we'll create a seminar on it, and inevitably, it sells. And employers will say, "Tell me what's going to." make my employee more productive. Everything comes under the umbrella of engaging, educational, meaningful seminars. That's it. And, and yeah. But when you even select somebody, I know that you have a selection yeah. process that's, that's unique. Yeah. Tell me about that. You know, it's interesting because it's always important to know your knowledge base. And I certainly look at credentials and schooling and education, and I value that. Um, I certainly know how much I learned from my master's degree. But quite frankly, I'm a mom to three and a stepmom to two more. That's what taught me my parenting skills. I have a lot of certifications, but being a mom to five, that's where I got it. So we're looking for people to tell me, what is their experience with the topic? Quit smoking seminars. Tell me when you stopped smoking. How much did you smoke? What was the story like? So I want to be able to re- relate to the person in front of the room. Tell me that you understand the world that I was in, and then I can, you know, make some changes. So what I'm what I'm hearing though is that you're you're not letting anybody just get up and say something. They actually have to have what I call is the mantle of authority. That yeah. they purchased the wisdom firsthand, paid the full tilt, yep. you know. Well, that kind of thing. So now, Patrick, you have a totally different thing because now you're talking about, okay, I need the educational background. Then I need the story, and here's the thing. Now I have to be able to deliver it. 
And so when we find trainers, they've got to engage me. And they've got to engage me in 30 seconds or less. Very I cool. can listen to their phone message and know whether they're going to connect with an audience or not. That's, that's really great. But the, the thing that I'm curious about is the, the things that you're doing. Now, I know that you've done radio with C, well, other places. Mm -hmm. Let's put it that way. And I guess I can't use any of those things. But, <laughs> but you've, done, you've done radio. You've done the, the you're, you're an article writer mm -hmm. for a number of yep. very top-notch and, and big-name uh, news organizations. So what else are your, you doing? So, you know, when I blog or when I write, it's always my story or my soapbox. And it's really this idea of what is the message I want to give out. So, you know, what's going on right now? And, you know, my big soapbox or my soapbox right now is, you know, if you're going to talk about work-life balance, I want to know what your work-life balance is. I want to know what your family consists of. I want to know what your work consists of. So, unfortunately, like every career, we have a lot of people on a soapbox that have work-life balance with no families and maybe no career. So why am I going to listen to them? Because you can only re, re, I say you can only reproduce what you've produced. Yeah, I've known leaders that I literally had to say I can't use you in this position right. because if what you're experiencing, what you're walking in is chaos. Yep. So what are you going to produce in this body? That's exactly right. <laughs> well, we gotta we gotta go to a break. This is the business spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. We'll be right back. You can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com.